So I'm grateful that I have such a beautiful family. Uh, both my parents, they have supported me, they always stand with me. And for them, I'm just their daughter. It's just like, as, as for other parents, they have a daughter, they love her, they take care of her. But then I have two uh, younger brothers, and as usual, brothers, they're cheeky, we still fight, we still argue. And my brothers, they just, they don't care what awards I'm winning outside and who I am, and if I'm a, a ambassador of something or UN messenger of peace. So when I won the Nobel Peace Prize and I came back to the hotel where we were staying and my little brother started saying that, look, you have won the Nobel Peace Prize, but it does not mean you become a bossy sister. So I always wanted to uh, get quality education to go to a good university and it was my dream. And now that dream has come true that I'm going to Oxford. I really worked hard for it. And, and I was so happy when I received the offer. Uh, and and. I'm excited to meet new people, to make friends, to learn. It is a great place of learning. And the goal of this mission is to empower local leaders and local activists. So uh, we want to uh, uh, increase that investment and and also support local advocates as well, local girl advocates. So for that we have announced $3 million and we want to expand that group, uh, redouble our efforts and, uh, and make sure we can reach to as many local activists as we can because they are the real change makers in their community and when we empower them, through them we can bring change. It also includes e-learning and, uh, and, and other uh, improvements in the quality of education. So it is a, is a vast uh, um, project it covers many areas but our main goal is to empower local leaders. So this year I went on a girl power trip and I went to uh, America, Canada, then and Nigeria, Iraq and Mexico and in these places I met amazing and incredible girls and I heard their inspiring stories. In Iraq I met girl called Najla and she was 14 years old when she was wearing her wedding dress and she took off her high heels and she escaped from her wedding. She ran away and later on uh, her, um, her village was uh, captured by the extremist ISIS and she was actually attacked but she did not stop and she's still continuing her education. She's speaking out, she has survived and she, uh, she resisted all that she went through and, and the things that we cannot imagine for a second she has gone through all that but she's still fighting for education and she wants to be a journalist so these are the stories that inspire me but my aim is to bring these stories then to a global platform like the UN and allow these girls to meet their uh, country leaders their local leaders so that their voices can be raised <laughs>